ओम श्री साई राम ओम श्री साई नाथाय नम ओम श्री साई परब्रह्मणे नम टुडे इन द सत्संग वी वी टॉक अबाउट थ्री वाडर्स दोज आर द बिल्डिंग्स ड्यूरिंग बाबास टाइम वॉट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस रियली विथ दीज वाडर्स I know we we all read in the Sai Sacharita about these vadas um those are like sate vada dikshit vada and then buti vada these are the three vadas so let's look at them one by one until sate vada was built in shirdi in 1905 around 1906 there was no pop, proper place for the people visiting baba they used to stay under the trees or wherever they can find the accommodation there were three vadas built during baba's time in shirdi like we talked the first one was built by rao bahadur hari vinayak sate mr sate was a, a deputy collector and a settlement officer in the bombay presidency Sate's vada served as a great comfort and helped people in the Shirdi pilgrimage to see Baba. He acquired the surrounding land near the samadhi and the neem tree and constructed a building with uh, halls on all four sides like a veranda. Um, this is the same building and the same vada which was the original central meeting place of the pilgrims which was always crowded with a lot of activity he also built a platform round the neem tree and an upper floor like a south north kind of thing he indicated this uh, underground cell when the staircase was laid under the staircase facing south is a beautiful place opposite which is the platform where the devotees sit facing the north hemat pant recollects baba's words as follows on thursdays and fridays after sunset anyone who smears the ground with cow dung and burns incense even for a moment will be blessed by god these are great words um, by baba Sate got married second time when he it was around 50 his first wife died leaving him with only daughters but there were no sons he was feeling incomplete without a son but with baba's blessing he gets married again and had a son his father-in-law dada kelkar was also a baba devotee sate wanted his father-in-law to stay in shirdi and if he builds a vada then even visitors also can stay sai gave his blessing for the idea sai used sate to bring mega to shirdi also so we can see how much harvinayak sate contributed to uh, sai legacy really This is a great contribution by Sate in service of Sai. Baba took care of uh, Sate in every angle possible. Sate showed more interest in worldly activities more than spiritual path, but Baba carefully orchestrated his life to protect him from the Arishad Vargas that is Kama Krodha Madha Matsurya Loba Mohas. so sate was helped uh, like that and then the next one is dikshit vada which house real kind of large larger families um dikshit was known as a man of spiritual merit and was the very incarnation of devotion he had gone on a tour of england where the seed of his own devotion was sown at this stage 
the listeners may question how leaving aside Madhura, Kashi, Dwaraka, you know, England, of all of the places, made him realize the ultimate truth. The way it worked is he already accumulated enough religious merit by his pilgrimages, his good deeds and all that. The when he visited Sai, his original idea, or or at least I mean, people suggested to him to make sure that uh, he was handicapped with his leg. So he was uh, he was told to ask Baba to bless him with that. But when he came to Baba, he didn't want that kind of thing. He wanted uh, him to cure his lameness in the mind rather than in the feet. So that much of devotion Dikshit showed. So he asked the deficiencies of his mind to be removed. What is the transient human frame but a collection of skin, blood, flesh and bones which is but a means for functioning in the material world? It does not matter if the leg remains lame. It was on the 2nd of November, 1909, that Dikshit met Sai for the first time and had a meritorious and a purifying darshan. Later on in the same year, in the month of December, he went again to Shirdi for another darshan and thought of staying on. His first thought of disposing of some 25 shares of his to build a tin shed which would be useful also to the pilgrims. But later on he decided to build a, a wada. On the 9th of December he took Baba's permission and considered that very day to be an auspicious one for laying the foundation stone. So on the 10th of December if you look at the history, Kapardev was allowed to leave Shirdi and Dikshit to lay foundation. Both both of these permissions were given on that same day. Another important event took place on this day. The the bedtime arati at the Chavadi was started on this day with great love and faith. Later on in 1911, the auspicious day of Ramanaumi, the house entering ceremony was accomplished um, at the Dikshit Vada. Later, Sriman Bhuti was put to work by Baba's grace by building a Vada which later became Samadhi Mandir. Lots of money was spent on this Vada. But this money was well spent because this became the most auspicious place. The land that was chosen for this has another significance. On the same spot of land, Baba had raised a garden of flowers with his own hands. And if we all remember, Vamantatya supplied the mud pots uh, with which the great Sai watered the garden and uh, which blossomed on a barren land. So we talked about all these three vadas. What is the spiritual significance of describing these three vadas in the Satcharita? We can look at it this way. The first vada was built by uh, Sri Sate, who was treading the material world, wanting fame and other objects of life, like, like any one of us. Sai tried to help him see the path of bhakti and mukti. If a spiritual seeker can overcome this, then they go to the level of dikshitvada. Dikshit is an incarnation of pure devotion and beyond materialistic way of living. If we look at it, he did not want to request Baba to cure his lameness in the leg, but to cure him in the lameness in the mind. Sai blessed him with the gnana, the knowledge. 
When seeker goes through this phase, the final resting place is Bhutiwada, that is Samadhi Mandir, and no more birth and death cycle, that is Moksha. Even in a small paragraph in Sai Sacharita, there is so much Vedanta that Baba incorporated through Hematpant's Sai Sacharita. Om Sai Ram, Om Sri Sai Nadaya Namaha, Om Sri Sai Parabrahmane Namaha. With this, I mean, we will conclude the, um, this three Vadas Sai Satsang. Sri Sachidananda Sadguru Sainad Maharaj Ki Jai.